by Egyptian authorities has issued a public plea for freedom. The three have been held for two weeks now, accused of spreading lies and collaborating with a terrorist group, but they haven't been charged with any crime. Peter Greste, the man in the center, has written a letter from prison accusing Egypt's military rulers of violating their rights as journalists. He says he and his colleagues had simply been trying to cover the events that are shaking Egypt. Greste writes, I have no particular fight with the Egyptian government, just as I have no interest in supporting the Muslim Brotherhood or any other group here. But as a journalist, I am committed to defending a fundamental freedom of the press that no one in my profession can credibly work without, one that is deemed vital to the proper functioning of any open democracy, including Egypt's, with its new constitution. Well, for more on this, we're joined by Adel Fahmy, brother of detained Al Jazeera journalist Mohammed Fahmy, on the line with us from Kuwait. First of all, how is your brother? Last we heard, he was in need of medical care. Yes, uh, his situation is, uh, is, is is really terrible. I mean, uh, the the promised uh, hospital treatment has has not been implemented yet; has not taken effect. They keep on postponing. Uh, we don't know why exactly, but till now he has not been treated. He's promised to to uh, to go this week, but uh, we don't know if it's going to happen or not. Uh, he's still in severe pain from his shoulder. Has there been any contact with him? He must be, frankly, terrified of what could be ahead. Yes, definitely. I mean, uh, the, the conditions are uh, are really terrible. Um, we've managed to visit him uh, uh, a couple of times. Uh, once as a family visit, which uh, which which is not not easy to get, but uh, you can manage to get one per per uh, week or two weeks, and another one with uh, the Canadian Embassy, uh, because we hold the Canadian citizenship as well. So uh, we were uh, permitted to go along with the Canadian Embassy to visit Mohammed. Uh, now I'm sure that the Canadian uh, diplomats would like to know. I'm sure you would like to know, and of course your brother would like to know. They haven't been charged with any crime, but do they know how they ran afoul of authorities? What brought them in particular to the attention uh, of Egypt's government? Yes, uh, the, all the accusations are unfounded. They're, they're all the ridiculous accusations, and uh, n nothing, nothing has been. Uh, they, ha they haven't been, uh, you know, uh, convicted uh, of any of them. Uh, it's all allegations, and uh, they cannot prove anything. Uh, they've been doing their work uh, objectively. They've been working honestly, and uh, and there, there is nothing that, uh, that that is actually against them. Uh, just allegations and accusations, and they keep on dragging on with the hearings and the interrogations. Uh, and we don't know where it's going to go from here. Is it, it, it's about to get transferred to court. In the meantime, and, uh, he is being held behind bars, not in the same prison as Peter Greste, but in a place that even Greste describes as being uh, nastier. Uh, why did they split yeah, it, them up, it, and where it, is your brother? Yeah, it's the worst prison. Uh, it's a maximum security. It's called the Scorpion Prison, uh, known in Arabic as Al Aqrab Prison. Uh, Peter is in a in, in a in a in a in a better prison, obviously, and better conditions, where he has some privileges. I mean, um, uh, for Muhammad and Bahar, they don't get any sunlight. They're in uh, uh, solitary confinement, uh, insect-infested cells. Very small cells, uh, no access to to, uh, to to the outside or sunlight at all. The only sunlight they get is when they are transferred for interrogations and hearings with the prosecutor. Uh, the visits are from behind glass by phone. Only when we went with the uh, with the Canadian embassy were we uh, allowed to to uh, see uh, like meet with Mohammed face to face. Uh, he's being held uh, in the same uh, ward with. Uh, high-profile jihadists and brotherhood and personnel of the uh, ex-president Morsi's uh, office uh, totally out of place and in uh, incorrect category. Adel Fahmy on the line with us from Kuwait talking about his brother, one of our colleagues among the working journalists in Cairo now behind bars still waiting to be charged or released. Well, we're looking ahead to a second day of face-to-face -face